All right, so welcome to today's meditation time together. Our focus is still for just a few more days in the month of March on stillness. And so I'd like for us during these moments that we have together to first just get to a spot where you're comfortable, find some, some ease in your body, your physical posture, whatever that is, get comfortable, comfortable either sitting or lying down, just whatever you need to do in this moment. Then if it feels good, go ahead and gently close your eyes. If not, just kind of look down just a bit and start to settle in to a calm rhythm of breath. Don't get so hung up on how long the breath is or what it feels like, but just try to slow it down. Use the breath as a calming tool in this moment. And prior to Monday arriving, and the week beginning, let's use the breath as our entrance to this moment, this here and now. And so as you begin to settle in, finding a sense of a long, slow inhale, followed by a long, slow, intentional exhale. Start to notice how you feel. It's really easy to bring our day, our struggles, our worries into our meditation time. But what we learn after a little bit of practice is that it becomes even easier to bring our meditation time into those days and into those worries and into those struggles. And so meditation doesn't just remain something we do for moments of our day, it actually becomes how we live our day. And I don't know when that happens for each per person, but I do know it is possible. So let's continue this journey tonight in these moments and little by little get closer to these moments becoming all the rest of the moments. So as you are settling in, I read the most beautiful definition or explanation or visual of kind of what we've been through the last couple of years in our world globally. This author says, the way I see it, your mind is a landscape. Practicing yoga or practicing meditation teaches us to explore our inner environments. Over time, we learn to negotiate the terrain the psyche's rolling hills and the shadowy corners. We learn how to find where the light dips through the trees. We start to recognize where the footing is a little precarious and we might need to hold on a little tighter. We might need some sturdier boots. And with so little certainty in our lives right now, it's important to have internal reinforcements when we need them. Finding this steady ground is the work of our meditation practice. Our outer world changed dramatically in the spring of 2020, just two calendar years ago. And internally, we need to recognize that we've been struggling to hang on ever since. So recognize that about yourself. Give yourself a break. And let's spend these moments navigating that inner landscape finding some sure footing in this kind of rocky terrain. So I want you to breathe in as deeply as you can and breathe out, recognizing we've all been affected by the last two years. Breathe in, fill yourself up and breathe out and realize there are struggles that we may not be able to even name. Impacts we may not be able to even notice just yet. And all of that uncertainty causes us to feel anxious. And so here in this moment, I want us to be able to set that anxiety a little bit to the side and catch a glimpse of the calm. 
So as you sit, I want you to imagine, kind of like that description that she gave us, that you're walking through a forest or you're walking a path on a trail, but you're out in nature. It's not a sidewalk, it's not grass, it's kind of a trail maybe that lots of folks who've come before you have pushed the grass down and made a pathway through, and so you follow the trail. And as you walk along that trail, you wanna look around. You wanna look around at all the things around you and see the trees and maybe the butterflies and you hear a sound of a bird and you look up to find it, but every time you take a step, because it's new ground, I guarantee you, you look downward and you check. You check to see where you need to step and how you need to place your foot. And if you need to go a little slower, or maybe you need to pull your hands out for balance, you do that on new terrain out in nature, when you walk, when you hike, when you explore. So I need you to give yourself the same consideration in that inner trail inside of you. So as your eyes are gently closed and your body is finding a little bit of relaxation, let me show you a different visual. It's the visual of you navigating a path through your landscape. And you do hear sounds and they make you want to look up and check things from side to side. And you do take in visuals of memories that are good and that make you feel warm and they make you smile. And then you see memories or you see current situations that don't make you feel good. And so what I want you to do is the same way as if we were in the forest, check your footing. And if you're feeling a little off balance, stop. Because you see it's barreling through, thinking we have to just get through something that usually causes us more harm. So what I want us to do in this moment together, regardless of which, what your thing is, because we all have them on our path, I want you to stop and just imagine same way you would in that forest that the terrain is a little rocky and I'm a little uncertain about what's ahead and I'm not sure that I'm ready to just push through it. So I stop and I pause and I breathe. We readjust our feet and maybe we breathe a little more deeply. And maybe we take the things that we know about our yoga practice and we start to bring those into that moment. Our yoga practice reminds us to stand with our feet firmly on the ground. And if the spot where you are in this situation doesn't allow you to do that, then let's move a little bit. Bring yourself a little farther away from it. Set it to the side and find more stable footing. If you were in the forest and the path ahead looked dangerous or treacherous, you'd find a different path. And I know that these things are sometimes easier said than done. But I do know that we all feel uncertainties. We all feel anxious. But we all deserve to live a life that is bathed in calm and serenity and peace. And so what I want us to do is we're going to have our time where I grow quiet. And I'm going to leave you quiet with your awareness of your thoughts. And I just want you to ask yourself, do I need to make a change? Turn around and go a different direction. Like the author said, choose a different pair of boots. 
whatever the metaphor is for you. Just think about the current situation. Maybe it's a situation in the past that's become current. Maybe it's something that's new. Just ask yourself, what do I need to navigate my path better? What do I need to feel secure? What do I need to feel safe within me? And what do I need to experience the calm, the peace, and the serenity that I deserve? And so I can promise you that once we grow quiet, your mind's gonna try to take you to that thing and the barrage of thoughts are gonna try to come in. You stay with the thought of what do I need to do to readjust my path. If you need a visual, see yourself on the forest floor and the path ahead is not a good one. So you switch and find a different way. So just see in your own life, how does that apply? I will do the same for me as we sit here quietly together, breathing and finding awareness. Bring your awareness back to the space that we're sharing together. And you may not have all the answers just yet, but I hope that tonight you have a little more clarity about what needs to change. Meditation is not about fixing ourselves or thinking that what we've done is wrong, but it is about knowing what our path is, our purpose, our dharma. And that if there are things in the way of our path, we don't just barrel through them, causing ourselves pain or destruction. We find a new way to continue our purpose and to continue walking our path. Because kind of like this pandemic, things get put in the way that are no fault of our own. So give yourself grace and understanding in this night and in the days to follow. And the next time we come together, we're gonna to continue this journey, this walk, this changing our shoes, finding some that are better suited for the path, this changing direction, because that is where stillness will come. So continue to breathe, continue to show grace to yourself. And the path will become clearer. I don't know when, but I do know the path will become clearer. Namaste.